Hey everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Tainted Grail, The Fall of Averon, and this is Excalibur, but we're not going to touch it because it hurts us. Um, anyways, I tried recording a video of my first like hour of gameplay of the tutorial, but I did not have the audio set to record, so I feel like actually, you know, that video has kind of lost a lot of its uh, luster. So we're going to go on the first quest together. And if you enjoy the game or want to check it out yourself, there'll be a link in the Steam page. Not a sponsored video, but uh, I did get a key. And this is the type of game I tend to enjoy. So I figured um, you guys might like to check it out yourselves. So fairly recently, it had the third act update. Um, it, the game is not currently complete, so it might be something you just want to wish list until then. But if you're interested uh definitely put on the wish list so anyways it is very much skyrim but it has like a it has like an older feel to it like a like a more budgety type feel more like i think i referred to it as skyrim but what if skyrim was more like uh something like gothic at least that's how I feel. Weird night. During the night, enemies can become much stronger, so beware. Um, ethereal cobwebs. You'll be able to find out where you're Okay, I... Oh, yeah, woken up. Okay. Is something attacking me? This isn't good. Can I just go back to sleep? What if I just go back to sleep? What happens? Okay. Oh, it's this thing? Oh, it's a zombie. Okay, sure guy. So, I went full mage for this run. You can kind of do whatever. They can do mage, rogue, you know, mage, assassin. Sneaker, sneaky person. Your stuff levels up from using it. Uh, I think that was it. Um, could I go back to sleep, please? I, I just want to go to the morning. I don't want it to be nighttime. Oh my gosh. How many things are out here? Can I just go? It's a wolf. All right, can I blind the wolf? So I found this raven spell at a very early spot in a place I wasn't supposed to really go to, I don't think. Um, but it has been kind of broken it let me defeat some guy who i really shouldn't have been able to by just like constantly cc'ing him and repeat blinding him over and over one thing i don't like is i don't think there's any like natural hp regen in the game currently which i guess to some degree is okay but it feels a little archaic to the point where you end up having to eat like a bunch of random stuff I assume it's the type of thing that won't be a problem later on. And it's just like an issue right now. But yeah, so far I very much like the game. They're basically, we were broken out of prison to um, help with some sort of like mission to kill King Arthur, who's been dead for 600 years, so they, I think he's supposed to get revived or something. I don't really, like, know the whole plot. That's kind of what's going on. And then very early on in this tutorial, you're basically possessed by some dude who was in a prison, so there's something going on there. And there's another thing with Titans. So the lore-wise is super interesting. I don't want to go deep into it with spoilers, because I think it's worth checking out yourself. But that's also kind of the excuse as to why we're able to stop time. Like, so... Or we have a time slow ability that fills up as we kill enemies. So you're pretty encouraged to use it. Um, the game is brutal as far as the amount of damage you take from enemies. So getting hits bad. But it does have a perfect parry system. And it has a dash that feels very good to use. I will say. Uh, there is a cat on my desk. Hopefully he decides to not... Um, 
in the way right now. I appreciate your... I appreciate your company and enthusiasm, my son, but I need to be able to see. Yeah, I know. I know. He wants the pets. Cypher boy wants the pets. He is three years old this month. The big boy. And he took off his collar. Grandpa. Okay. Um, I don't know. Some of you might just be here for cat talk. So maybe, maybe one day. If he stops being so camera shy. And he's gone. But anyways, yeah, I generally do lovely games like this, and I plan on, like, fully playing Avowed. I'm going to quick save here because this feels like a trap. So this feels like getting in the mood for this. Wardock. Who goes there? Are you the one responsible for all that racket? People here are trying to rest in peace, damn it. Brother, you look like you got some problems. You should be. These folks fell into their eternal slumber a long time ago. But some of them have turned out to be very light sleepers. Not their fault. I'm telling you, ever since people started burning their dead, it's like they've forgotten proper manners in places like this. I'm gonna have to kill this guy, aren't I? Interested in local history, are you? Okay, good. He's gonna let me in. What's funny is when I got to this, like this island, which is right after the tutorial. I can let you in. It's constant work, as you can. Fine. I'll pay five. Yeah. Just oh, and I hope I don't need to remind. I'm definitely robbing graves. I'm definitely doing that. Um. Anyways, I was gonna say. Uh, new recipe unlocked. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't know there's armor crafting. Anyways. The first quest I got um, when I got to this island was literally to go assassinate somebody. I didn't have to do that, but I got a quest to do it. I haven't gone and done it, but, um, you know, there are different paths to completing quests. Um, hey, buddy. Oh. And you can do wield spells however you want. Um... So, like, I could have fire on both hands if I really want to. I don't know if blind works on on dead. I guess, oh, this is bad. This is, like, way too many enemies. The game looks really good. It performs pretty well on my machine. Um, I do have a fairly higher-end machine. I'm using a 4070 Ti, um, like, that tier equivalent processor. Good, good RAM. Uh, and whatnot, but but unfortunately, it does not perform on the Steam Deck very well. It does run on the Steam Deck, and you could try and play it on that, but I would I would recommend against it. Barrel Charm. Increased damage by 1%. Hold up. Is that just like a is that a ring? Is that a necklace? That's something I put on my feet. What is this? Weapon relic. Is there a weapon imbuement in this game? I don't know all the features to this game. Like straight up. I just I'm here. Uh, I'm going to drink this. Poop. Fine. We can make more probably sort of. So you do all your leveling up at campfires. You can't like level up out in the wild. Uh, I've never been a big fan of that uh, specifically. But it is what it is. Some games do like that system. Waiting for these knights to come alive. I also think I'm going to switch to double fireball. Or firebolt, I should say, because these are not fireball. Take two! Gonna zip on back. Now, I very much could use anything I wanted to. You're not locked into this skill system or whatever it's just i got a bonus at character creation uh basically to um my magic so i've kind of leaned into that also much safer if you want to play in melee that's really cool and i think the melee gameplay is actually really 
really good for this type of like first person RPG game. I think it's like it plays a lot better than Skyrim is more interesting. However, it is very punishing in the sense that uh, if you aren't dodging and are, you know, parrying, you're going to die very quickly. At least early game. I'm not sure. You probably get some, you probably end up at a point where you have enough uh, defense that you can take some hits. I guess it depends on your build, right? Um, I definitely picked up a spell there and I want to check it out. Banish the target for eight seconds, making it disappear for the duration. Summons targeted this by the spell are banished for all eternity instead. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. I'm just going to put that here. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going to use it, but if we need to use it, we have it. Actually, I can't cast it. I just realized I have like 40 mana max right now. So I don't know how I would ever actually fire that spell off. Motherfucker, I knew it. I knew there would always I knew there would be one. Um Um hello. Oh god, oh god, oh god. He's got a chart. Okay, he's far away. Okay, we're just gonna kite him. We're just gonna kite him and burn him to death. Uh, he seems very fire resistant, though. I don't know how much resistance is play a part in this game, but he is just a big stone guy, so I can't imagine fire is, like, the best. Um, I have to imagine the joke is to banish this guy or sneak around him or something. Feels like solo leveling. But Sun Jin Wu <laughs> was not prepared. He was also fighting like 10 of these guys, so that's different. You haven't seen Solo Leveling. Very good. I don't normally like Isekais. Uh, it's not really an Isekai, though, so I guess. Fine, it's, it's a Anwa. It's a different the power fantasy. He has so much HP. This is insane. Well, evasion's going up. Thank goodness for mana region. One day he will die. All right, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say I wasn't supposed to fight that guy. I was probably just supposed to run. Hello? Where did it spawn me? Back here? Okay. So the game does autosave, but it like picks its, like you determine how often it autosaves. So highly recommended that, you know. Save often, right? Always a good rule. Huh. I'm not really upset about losing the progress or anything. Just like, that was a long fight for nothing. He did one hit us and it was taking forever. I don't think we were really meant to be fighting that guy at all. That was definitely just like a trap to kill us. It was kind of funny since I was talking about Sun Jin Wu, like, killed I guess and I'm just gonna use my I could be a sword I could be a sword user for a little bit oh, mana is regening I do want to pick up uh the spell we're gonna go back this way wait I'm gonna quick save nobody spawns over here uh, I was wrong Oh my god, what is that? Oh no, 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 no. Everything's awful. Hi. Careful there. Try not to step in the array. It's it's advanced magic. Very fragile. Oh. Did I 
did I do a bad thing? Are you slow, Dig? Of course not. Slav to Well, your guess is wrong. <laughs> That's Slafter, although I do take an interest in his work. It's all very fascinating, you know. That... <laughs> what isn't? He was the first one to experiment with death magic. All right, I want him to teach me death magic, and then I'll just say, like let him do his thing, and then I'll lie about it being completed. Or superstition, they did not see, or maybe did not want to see. Also, help me out with the giant stone man chasing me. Merely an end, not the end, like everyone thinks. You see, the dead, especially those who suffer, nearly everyone has regrets. Okay. The more willful or vengeful individuals can abandon their humanity and continue as wraiths. Most of the others need um, a bit of a nudge. And then they can go on. Of course, uh, at the moment they lack. Oh. Stop. What? what a oh, wait, 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 wait. It's still wrong. I guess you have a point. I'll let you live. I'll let you live, but you need to find someone else for your research. You know they'll send someone else soon. You'll never get a moment of peace. Think about all the time you'll waste fighting them. <laughs> I can face anything they throw at me. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that was the wrong answer. Uh, the bone men? Oh, I see. I see what's happened here. I was definitely supposed to use this, but I don't have the mana. And I'm dead. Okay, so perhaps I am too weak to accomplish this quest. And that is that is a thing in this game. I think that is just merely a part of it. So let's step outside here. For a little bit, maybe get a few more levels. If I could cast Banish, I could definitely handle him. I think there's also a world in which I don't even need Banish, whereas I just, um, you know, need more deeps. If I had some more deeps, I could probably handle it. If it was just one guy, I could handle it pretty easily too, because I could just blind him, I think, forever, but. No point in trying to just run head first into a guy in a game like this. This isn't a, this isn't a Soulsborne like you're not meant to be killing certain things at certain times. That is the quest though that we are on is to get that guy out of here. This was. Guy fell apart. Culinary madness. Can we cook? Can I be cooking? I cooked some seafood. Yay! Yay, me! Can I level up? I can. I have one skill point. Could I get. Um. Some. Burning enemies receive 5% more damage. Magic chance to have a chance to critical hit. Yeah, that's probably better. I would like to confirm that. And then we go to this here. Magic. Max mana. 60. 60 max mana is definitely not 80 max mana. Wait, Available ethereal cobwebs. Oh, for uh, for sleepy time. I wonder what I got that from. All right, and you can loot basically everything it seems like. Although there's just like random stuff to throw around in a game like Skyrim. Ooh, what's this? What's this pillar? It looks dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna run over the pillar. Oh, wolves are attacking that. Oh no! What have you done? How dare you hurt my friend? We level up again.
Well, I guess his loss was my gain. All right, uh, since we level up, we're going to go back to the level up screen real quickly. Here, just going to go level up. Going to go right over here back to this. I'm going to go for every 10% missing magic, you deal 5%. That's a lot. Burning enemies take 5% more damage. You think that's good. Then we have one more. Just bend it as we are going full on Archmage at the moment. But you could play whatever you wanted. And let's check out the Spire. And then I think after we check out the Spire, see what happens. And then we'll that'll probably end the video. But again, I do think if you're into this type of game, it's definitely something you should be on your wish list. Because I'm having a blast. I might, I might play some on stream. I'm really enjoying this right now. If I can get ahead on like my other videos and whatnot uh, and find some time, I might be doing that. Uh, hi, little Grindy Jow. And boop. The only thing I don't like is that I know that the story's not finished, and because. What the fuck? Okay, before I talk to this guy, I was gonna say, because the story's not finished, I know that I would get to the end feel unsatisfied, and there's a chance that I might like, finish what's in the game currently and then never come back to it. Incomprehensible screaming. Oh my god. Uh, okay, game saved. You can actually set how often the game auto save. Thing. Can I kill this one? Nope. Nope, he's just having a bad time. Oh, no. All right, let's shoot. I guess I have to explore another, a different place. I thought that would be a little bit more to it than that. Where are we at? We're here. Rotten Cemetery. Recurring payments. Let's go down to this. There's a quest over here. It says our athletics has increased. It's the quest is down here. We will quick save anytime before we talk to someone. We have to quick save. What's up? You Jar Hall and your fancy you blue want? colors. Oh, this guy sent me here to assassinate. Yes. Well, because I can. Oh, damage. Oh, that's awkward for you. Oh, my God. Oh, and he's dead. Hey. I am out of mana. Get time slowed. Dead. Amazing. I'm going to take all of his clothes. Nobleman's boots. Some milk? Steal me some milk? Call me Homelander? Oh, and fishies. I can burn, I can cook these now. Uh, can I steal the horse? Hold up. Can I actually steal the horse? Second. <laughs> hey, let's see about these nobleman boots first. Light armor grants two gold upon killing an enemy. Sign me up. Sign me up. Um, we're still at light. Grants two gold upon killing an enemy. Yes. 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 Oh, this one doesn't. This one's just... This one's just whatever. Okay. We are the merchant now. I am going to have an actual save because, like, you know. Uh, then I'm going to steal this horse. What? Now. How does horsing? Uh, can I go back to the quest? Uh, place marker. 
What did I? Okay, marker is there. We're going to go towards the marker on the horse. I can sprint on the horse. Feels fine. I prefer like third person horse movement, but I understand the game's in first person all the way. No complaints. So yeah, this that was the first quest I was given when I got to the island. Was those guys like I, t I could pay off their debts the regular way, or I could just like, can I jump? No. Run. Horse do be horsin. This is definitely, and when I say this, I really mean it. This is definitely not the right path. You can tell by the music. It does kind of get stuck on stuff. All right, where? Oh, I had to go through the gate. I just skipped the gate. But why is there just random like bodies down? Whatever, I guess it's not my problem. Come on, horse. You can do it. You can do it. Did it. We made it. Fine. There were just bodies and just like a pool of blood over there, huh? That's weird. I don't think that's normal behavior. I took his horse. <laughs> Thanks, friends. Hello? Lost. Why? You, don't tell me to get lost. How'd it go? Uh, you're free. You <laughs> Why was he telling me to get I lost? I just... believe it. Thank you. <gasps> Fun. That was awkward, but okay, sure. Aha! I did the thing. Requires pickaxe. Hmm. Probably should have, uh... Obtained a pickaxe or kept a pickaxe or something before I... Did this. I don't see... Oh, there's a pickaxe right there. Can I go into this now? Mine? Oh, yeah. Now we're really gaming. Wait, there are coins in that. Iron ore. For this... Oh, you get six coins and three iron ore? Oh my god. Oh my god, this game has mining too? Oh, I love this. <laughs> this is everything I enjoy. I think the only thing about it that could be better is I prefer third person like games over first person but honestly like damn okay so we freed them we stole a horse i mean the horse nobody really needs to know that the horse is stolen right now right like it's just ours if i if i was to go over here to call mount is he gonna come to me okay we just have a mount now well, that's nice. Uh, I'm going to quick save. Let's see. Did we level up? No, we're still five. Um, yeah. Awkward. So we are going to have to actually go finish that one quest to continue. I think I'm going to stop the video here because I can see myself playing this for like hours um, <laughs> without stopping. Uh, I have a lot of quests to go do and places to explore and whatnot. I gotta go talk to, like... I need to talk to all the people in this place to get more quests to do more stuff. And probably, like, clear out this whole area of people. Uh, I also knew there was stuff over here for my first time playing on Steam Deck. But, um, yeah, this game is pretty sweet. Tainted Grail, Fall of Avalon. Definitely recommend, if you're into this type of game, putting it on your wish list at the very least to check it out when it hits 1.0 if you're not into the early access part of it. But if you want to check it out now, it's fully playable. Pretty fun. A little bit, a lot of freedom, it seems like. Um, I mean, I just killed a guy, took his horse, and now it's mine. And now I've got a horse. 
But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked the vid. I will see you all next time. Jeff out.